cute tree in the back, but also not be like, oh, I'm purposely trying to have the tree in the back. This, this looks fine. Let's just start here. Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Sunday and I have so much to do. All weekend, I was just doing homework all of Friday, all of yesterday, and I have a lot to do today as well, but I also need to go grocery shopping. So I'm gonna start today by going to Trader Joe's, my favorite. Although I do hate going to the grocery store on Sundays because I find it to be so busy and it always takes like an extra 30 minutes to get this task done. But actually I take that back because lately, Every grocery store has been so busy every single day. Like it doesn't matter if I go on a Tuesday afternoon or during the day Friday or Sunday, it's always so packed. I don't know if it's because it's like December and it's winter and maybe people are spending more time at home cooking or hosting. I'm not sure what it is, but like grocery stores are always so, so packed and the aisles in New York are very small. So like when the grocery store is packed, I mean like it's packed, like I feel anxious like reaching for things because there's so many people um but i gotta go to the grocery store i mean i don't have my basics there's no perfect time to go to the store to avoid the crowds lately so i'm just gonna go now get set up for the week and then i'll do my homework and everything else i need to get done so let's just start with that and honestly i just want to wear the set to the store and my fave little jenny kane moccasins it all matches i'll show you guys the thing is i still love a sweat set like I know it's very much a pandemic thing but like I still love it and this is my absolute favorite one I love Pangaea sweat sets they are the best the sweatshirts are so soft the sweatpants are so soft I have like five because I'm obsessed with them <laughs> like they're the best quality I am so in love with them and I feel like it's not bad if I want to wear this out today. This is also my workout sweatshirt. Like I'll wear it to go to a workout class or something because it's quite oversized and big so I can just like toss it on. Um, but I don't know. This is our grocery Luke. We got the New Balance. We got the Pangaea Neutral Set. We got this Jenny Kane Camel Cashmere Coat. And it is truly winter out there. Look, look at the leaves. They're all gone. We're talking winter in New York. It's here, it's ready. I really miss Kane when I am lugging my groceries around, looking like a complete idiot, <laughs> like fully lopsided with heavy grocery bags because Kane would just carry them all so elegantly and it was never a problem and I would just flaunt around New York City with no bags in my hand. It's honestly a way better grocery experience having someone carry the bags for you. This is, I'm, I hope I don't sound like an asshole, but you know, it's just, it's my truth, whatever. I'm allowed to say what I feel. I just realized I never updated you about Kane. I mean, I did because I filmed a vlog and I included like Kane not being here anymore. He was always, he was always sitting there. Um, but I never uploaded that vlog because I filmed that vlog in October. And then by the time I got ready to like edit and upload it, it was December. And I hate uploading videos when they're like really past the time that they occurred in real life, if that makes sense. Let's just sit here for a second and cool down. <gasps> I love the light in the apartment right now. It's so just like bright and that golden, golden light. I love it. I mentioned in the vlog that I never uploaded that Kane moved. Basically, we're both Canadian and he was pretty much here for me and he was doing what he could from his computer, but he felt like it was time for him to go, which is totally fine. I mean, this was never like a permanent situation for him, nor it is for me. We've done long distance since I moved to New York three years ago. Um, so we're very used to the long distance setup, but I'm not gonna lie, it's very, very difficult in the winter months. So he's back in Vancouver and I'll see him again when I go home for Christmas break and I'll be home for like a month because my next semester doesn't start until like late January. Honestly, I don't like New York in January anyways and I don't wanna be like sitting here by myself. Like what's the point? I really only have like two friends in New York and I feel, I feel really alone to be honest. Like especially winter, I was actually talking about this with Kane. Like all of a sudden I felt so like 
alone because he is my best friend. We do so much together. We even like work together, like my YouTube videos, my photos, everything. Like he's the one that helps me with all of that. And we are really a working team and I love that process. So when he's not here, I can't do as much that I wanna do like shoot photos and film different types of content or whatever. And then I also don't have my friend to like watch movies with, with go for walks with, do just like all the things that we do, like even cooking dinner. Like I love to cook for someone else. I've just noticed that about myself. Like I, I like to cook just in general. I do like to prepare meals like at home, probably because I grew up with that kind of environment. Like my mom always cooked, my dad always cooked. So I really do like to do those things, but it's not as fun when I'm doing them just for myself. I feel like I definitely care less when it's just for me. Like I'll just toss a salad and be like, all right, that's my dinner. But if like, if Kane is here, I'm excited to like try a recipe and like share that experience. I don't know. That's just like how I feel. So yeah, it's been really hard to be honest, being on my own this time around. I don't know why, like I'm so used to living alone. I love living alone. I genuinely love living alone. Like I cannot live with a roommate ever again. Like roommates that I'm like not, that are not my boyfriend. <laughs> like I can live with my sister, I feel like, and I can live with my boyfriend, but I don't think I can live with like a random person. It's just like a personal preference. I don't know, to each their own, but that's another thing. So yeah, I love living alone, but it does get lonely. And like, I do wish I had more friends, but like, I don't. Like I honestly don't have that many friends. And it's kind of hard. Like I was really sad all week because I was just like, man, it's like winter. Like I want to be doing something. And like when my two friends are busy or people are not in town or whatever, like I'm literally sitting here by myself, which I'm so used to doing. But when I'm doing that all the time, like it does eat at me. Like I don't know what it is, but yeah, I definitely feel lonely. And him not being here is, is hard. It really is because I do realize how much I rely on him for a lot of things. But like with that being said, I'm super, super ind independent. I do, however, like having him around and I do feel more like myself and like well-rounded when he is around. But like, I think that's pretty natural. So yeah, I just hope next semester... <laughs> Can there like not be sounds for just like for one second? Can there just not be any sounds? Um, it's actually, I don't know if you can hear it, but a car horn is going off and it's literally right outside my window. Cute. I don't have a hard time making friends. I genuinely like people. It's not that, like I am more introverted for sure. I definitely need my alone time. I need to recharge. I love being by myself like 100%, but I also do like people. Like I get so excited to see my friends. I get so excited to spend time, one-on-one -on -one time, group time, whatever with the people that I do love but I haven't met more people that I can build that friendship with I guess and like friendship I feel like so much of it is very like proximity related like you either work with someone or you know them from college or you I don't know grew up with them like the people that I know who have a lot of friends they kind of like knew each other from before moving to New York and I'm like okay well like I moved to New York I didn't have any friends here I didn't have any want to hang out with here. In my time living in New York, I've met and made so many amazing friends that I love very much, but a few of them moved and they no longer live here. Like that that to me sucks because I I can count like three people that I genuinely love that don't live in the city that were my friends. I mean, still are my friends, but I just can't have those like <laughs> but they don't live here. So I can't like hang out with them. I can't message them to be like, hey, let's go for coffee. Let's go do something like have that actual like real life social interaction. Yeah, I really only have two friends in New York. That's truly how I feel. I don't have much of a social life. And I find, I mean, I go to FIT and that's somewhere that I feel like I could make friends, but I'm 27 and a lot of the, the people at FIT are, you know, 19, 20, 21. And it's like, we're just in such different life phases and that's totally fine. And it's not to say that I wouldn't be friends with someone who's younger. Cause like, that's not what I mean at all, but it is a different, it's a different landscape. I don't know why this conversation just came about. Oh, I, I do know because I was talking about Kane and how he's not here, um, but I don't want my ice cream to melt. <laughs> we got the holiday Trader Joe's bags. I actually always bring my own bags, but I'm happy I didn't because I got the holiday bags this time. So let's start with the lighter bag. I got some paper towels because I don't have any 
and please don't come at me for using paper towels. When I first moved to this apartment, I was like, I do not want to use paper towels. I want to limit my waist. So I was using actual towels, but it, it was just so disgusting because I would use these towels and then they would obviously be dirty or whatever. And I had this like thing that I would put the towels in. It just became very unsanitary and it didn't fit my lifestyle here. So I am using paper towels, which isn't the ideal sustainable situation for me. And I never said I'm like the sustainability queen, but I definitely do try to do my part. I definitely try to limit my waist where I can. And I know that using paper towels is one way you can easily like use a towel. You can use a piece of cloth. You can like clean with literally anything else, but it just became gross for me because I would have this like dirty pile of towels that I couldn't clean for like a week or more. And it just like didn't really fit my set up here so hopefully one day i can go go into a different towel route but i can't do that here so I'm, i got some paper towels please don't attack me the holiday edition hold the cone i love i actually have two of these left in the fridge let's just tilt you up because i'm developing back problems standing like that um i love mint ice cream so so much but I don't like a super, super minty because I feel like I'm eating like toothpaste. And this, this peppermint hold the cone is the perfect amount of mint. I must say though, if any Trader Joe's product developers are watching this video, I hope you are. <laughs> I don't love the texture of the cone for this one. I just find in general, the darker, the darker cones are not as good as the like original wafer cones, like any of the flavors that have the original wafer cone, the cone is a lot better. Like it's like hard and firm and perfect. The cone for this is not amazing, but man oh man, this, it's pink, it's peppermint. I will probably have one tonight. Actually, I for sure will have two tonight. I got some avocados, essential. Got the like four avocados. My preference is the baby avocados, but they didn't have any. I got a pomegranate. This is so annoying to break apart and do, but I need to do it because I just love pomegranate. Like when I have it, I'm just like, this is the best fruit ever. This is the only green I got because look at this. This is a literal treat. Like, <laughs> um, so we'll be having lots of Brussels sprouts. I just got some sourdough because I don't have any bread. Got some pepper because I'm out. And then I got this truffle seasoning. I got this to give to my sister because my sister loves truffle. I like truffle. Like I like it on some things. Like I Trader Joe's has this like truffle popcorn, which is pretty good, but I get kind of over it. Like I can only have it in doses. I'm not like truffle obsessed, but it's definitely truffle season because there was like a million truffle things at TJ's. But I got this for my sister because my sister is the kind of person who will put truffle on everything. Like if there's a truffle flavor of anything, she'll be like, I want that one. She loves truffle. So we got that for her. I got one little apple. I got some bananas, just an essential. I make a lot of shakes and I like to put bananas in my protein shakes or um, I just like to toss a banana in my bag as a afternoon snack. And then I got some honey because I am out. Then we got some organic eggs. Last two are some dairy products. I got some salted butter. I actually always get unsalted, but I wanna make some cookies and the cookies call for unsalted butter. I cook eggs with butter and I'll add salt to the egg. So this time I'll just, I'll use the salted butter, but I won't add additional salt if that makes sense. But I do prefer to eat non-salted butter just because that way I can control the salt. But you know, I wanna make these cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the salted butter and then I got some crumbled feta because I like to put feta on salad. And that, my friends, is the Trader Joe's haul. Okay, now I'm gonna put everything away and then we gotta do some homework. I have like four things due. I have a final exam tomorrow and I have a group project due tomorrow as well. So lots to do.